facilitated a four-week multilingual community-based process led by poverty scholars, migrante scholars, disabled scholars, indigenous youth elder and mama scholar leaders to create questions and issues that face us every day in the stolen land called the U.S. on Turtle Island, in Kalimpa, Saslan, and on this Ohlone land stolen and named after a missionary known as San Francisco. My background is I work uh, in technology. That's uh, where I've spent my entire career I'm in the private sector. I've never worked at City Hall. So if I could work on any one thing, it would be to make it easier to get more jobs in San Francisco. I'm a resident of District 6, been here for eight years, and native of San Francisco for 28 years. The three things that I go by is safe neighborhoods, quality of life, and fiscal responsibility, which the city of San Francisco needs. Uh, a little bit about my background. I've been a public school teacher here in San Francisco. I've worked in the Bayview, Hunters Point, Potrero Hill area. Uh, I've also worked as a private college instructor while I've been here, uh, on and off as a taxi driver for several years, uh, worked for a large insurance company downtown for about a year. It's about all I could take of the corporate world. <laughs> I've lived in the district for 14 years and um, I started out in an SRO in the Tenderloin and within two years had uh, debilitating uh, HIV and I've lived in SROs and I've worked really hard to uh, put myself in a place where not only do I represent um, the drag community but also um, a lot of people who are in the housing, in the housing needs community. I've lived and worked in this district for 25 years. Uh, my profession is a, an artist. Uh, I've also been the tenant representative on the building inspection for a good part of the last decade, working on issues of habitability and SROs, anti-displacement, uh, how to fund and create affordable housing that's meaningful at the levels that we need for housing San Francisco. My name is James Keyes. I'm black, I'm gay, I'm paused, I'm proud, I'm native born, and I am here to make sure that economic justice and societal justice to make sure that people are able to live here in San Francisco. I want to make sure that each and every person who is like me, who is my neighbor, who is like you and you and you have a place to live here in San Francisco. If I can do it, you can do it. Please come with me, James Keyes. Um, my platform for District 6, um, there are four issues that I think are, are, are should be the priority of our next supervisor. One is job creation. We need to create more jobs in our, in, in our city. And I think one of the most progressive ways to do that is by supporting more small businesses. Um, small businesses provide 60% of the jobs here in San Francisco, and they hire locally, and they're neighborhood oriented, and they can also help with public safety issues and just building the character of the neighborhood. Second is um, working on increasing affordable housing um, as we've been doing, but prioritizing, uh, finding more funding for this, and pushing another affordable housing bond. We, our last bond was in 1996, and we used all of that funding, and we, I think, oh, okay. <laughs>
community organizer for quite a long time, working to keep this, this neighborhood a good place to live, work, and play. I work real hard to maintain peace between neighbors and nightclubs. I'm a commissioner on the Entertainment Commission. I founded the Soma Leadership Council, which is a good place for all parties to come to the table. And I'm the guy who got Western Soma removed from the, east, from the Eastern neighborhoods process. And I gave us a real community-based process where everybody has a chance to um, help to plan their future. Neighborhoods, small businesses, quality of life. I'm Queen Nandi, I'm with Poor Magazine, I'm the author, I'm the poet, I'm the motivational speaker, and I'm also a teacher in my neighborhood, which is the Western Edition, but I take the kids, you know, off the streets and stuff, you know, educate them on things such as police brutality and things pertaining to their history and culture. So my question is for the children. As you well know, I, I'm pretty sure you're aware of the foster care system and the PIC system, which is the prison industrial complex, and my main concern is, as far as with the children that are in the foster care system, they're kicked out on their behinds once they're 18 years old with no access to education, no access to jobs, no access to housing. So my question is for the youth that are out there that are misplaced, displaced, you know, what will be your plan? What will be, is this even on your agenda? What will be your plan to have these services provided for our children so they won't be out in the streets and be another PIC volunteers, which is the prison industrial complex? These people are talking about they're going to do something. I've already been doing it. As a chair of the San Francisco Mental Health Board, I have sat on hearings that have brought money down from the state of California from Prop 63. That money went into TAY, or Transitional Age Youth Programs. We have a specific category for that that has put money into CHP to build housing, that's put money into TNDC to build housing, to make sure that our transitional age youth have a place to go. And as the chair of the San Francisco Mental Health Board, I have sat and made sure that before they left, before they left the San Francisco Mental Health community, that Larkin Street was fully funded. I have been doing the work, I will continue to do the work, and as the next supervisor, I'll make sure that this is top priority housing. land from Mexico and we have no right to enforce or remove a sanctuary act. Now as far as the, the federal government with their ICE program, if they want to enforce, they want to come here and enforce in San Francisco, they need to spend the dollars to come here to enforce and not utilize our services and our police department to do such. Thank you.